Hi friends, my name is Borro Dante. Welcome back to the Outlandish Curiosity. So let's start right at the place where we finished the previous episode, meaning the Creekweed Beetle. I don't have much time today because the whole day kind of disappeared in a whole bunch of errands, but I thought it would be much better to spend this evening on art instead of banana ice cream and anime. So we'll finish what we haven't finished in the previous episode, meaning Creekweed Beetle and Spring Folly, which we actually improved a lot with Kevin yesterday, like a concept of it. So anyway, let's start with fixing the horn of the creekweed beetle so let's make it more of a round shape like an arc it will look better as a attacking device and i think it will actually fit a lot better to the shape of the character so it's a win-win situation okay how do i erase everything and kind of nothing at the same time <laughs> Okay, let's like erase most of it to prevent it from being an obstacle to think with a new geometry and then do a little bit of construction in a separate layer. So this is the arc, like literally it should be really bent. This is the way it goes in Kevin's sketch as well. So let's see, we have, let's actually use a different color. I'm trying to turn on my brain after a pause. So we have this kind of thing. Let's add an extra edge on the side, like it gets a little bit of flat surface in here with an edge. It will look more massive and serious, kind of. Mm, crap, I messed up the geometry a bit. It should have started from here, but still gets slimmer a lot faster. It's like getting from the white face into a slimmer gutter, like this. Yeah, there we go. Oh yes, now it seems a lot more fitting. Okay, done. Very well-defined horn we have here. Now for the spring folly, which is now at a stage of a bucket on a stick. <laughs> the prototype. But yeah, we decided to go with a male and a female, and me and Kevin developed a bit of a more detailed model of these flowers. The point is that male spring follies, they grow somewhere high, like on the top of the mountain or on the wall of the canyon, you know, so they are high, whatever. Breaking through the stone, maybe, they probably should be kind of smaller. But not too much, they should kind of be close to one another, I suppose. But the females, they grow on the ground at the bottom somewhere. And they have this big bucket and they collect the seeds that males spread around. And when the seeds fall down, they create this effect of snowfall. So it's like really pretty and, well, following the gravity and all, so it kind of works better. But then there was a question, how do male spring follies grow on the top if the seeds are all at the bottom? Well, after the female spring folly collects all the seeds, it closes its basket and after a while it opens it back up and the developed seeds that are now flying with wings fly all over the place, including the tops of the mountains and all. And Kevin actually fused it with a different concept of a different character. This is what the developed seed will look like. It's like a long kind of body with a screw at the bottom, like a bolt. And it's flying like it has leaf wings and light sensors. And, well, it's flying around and then it screws itself into the ground. That's how it kind of gets there to start growing up into a male or a female spring folly. After a period of gestation, the female spring folly released their seedlings, the densophy. 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 One of those. Then the densophy <laughs> traverse the hills and the mountains looking for a nice comfortable place to take root. That's how you call it. Take root. I will forget that in three seconds. I plucked this briskly example from my beard. <laughs> Many things get stuck in there from time to time, whether I want it or not. Why would you want... anyway. <laughs> 
I kinda fancy, maybe. Remark the spots on the dance of his face. They are sensors which it uses to measure the intensity of sunlight. Oh, that's a good point. Well, isn't that an awesome concept of everything together? <laughs> I really love this one. It's kind of cool. Okay, let's start over. I think bucket should look a bit more fancy than this. Because it's not a bucket, it's a basket. That's a lot nicer word. So one of the fronts suggested to look up the design of the orchid flower, which is probably going to fit really well with the whole romantic and beautiful idea of spring folly. Like in general, the shape of the leaves or maybe something like that. I can see a lot of the time they look something like this, but also we have this kind of wavy shapes, so I think we should go with this kind of stuff, but not everywhere. This is gonna be a pretty complex flower. At the bottom it has these leaves that it wiggles around. Oh my, I'm gonna have to censor this. Wow, a black orchid. How cool is that? I'll just have it around here. Alright, let's see. So the basic idea, the flower at the top and the leaves at the bottom. That's about it. We're starting with a male, I think. Let's do the bucket thing later. Basket! So the male folly has to have some kind of, um... Maybe if it should, like, spread it around, it should maybe, like, gently spit him out or something. So it should have, like, a special thing at the top with, uh, like, um... Some kind of hoses or something like that. And it should be fused with something close to the orchid kind of flower thingy. Let's go with something like that, but I'm not sure what it's supposed to look like. So anyway, there's some kind of spitting body at the top. Oh yeah, let's do one of these spiral things. That's a perfect place for him. So it also has to have this goofy factor, right? It's still a part of the universe. So these things should maybe look like trombone pipes or something. Oh yeah, look like these amazing wavy lines make it look so much cooler, even though they don't mean anything. <laughs> How could I say that? It's romantic and beautiful. So whatever, something at the bottom. I wasn't actually planning on going into details right away. We should think about the bottom part as well. The leafy things. So there should be these special leaves. They should be kind of big. They are kind of like arms, right? So the stem might be too thick. But I feel like this flower should be sort of strong and big. It's like not exactly a flower, it's something more. Well, we'll see. Maybe when we'll add the leaves it won't really feel like it's too big. I think we should add some pretty decor at the bottom as well to cover these cores. Oh no, that's a bit too much. <laughs> So, let's add another four leaves like these, but at the bottom, like in chess order, like there, only a bit bigger. It will be cool. Let's add another four in here too. We need some pretty complexity. And these ones will have these wavy lines too. So here we have the seeds spreading around from these pipes. It all comes together. Alright, I think it's an awesome flower. I actually, I don't think I've ever in my life drawn any flowers. <laughs> so I have no idea what, what this looks like. Okay, so here we go. Done with the male spring folly, version 0. No, wait, version 0 was a bucket on a stick. Anyway, let's do the female. 
Okay, give me the grids and mirror them for no reason again. Now, the female should have a big thing at the top. And it should be closable. So, let's think about that. Let's rotate it a tiny bit towards us so we would see what's going on. So, I'm thinking that this... So, I'm thinking that this stem thing should continue through the basket. And basket is kind of like this inside. And in here, there's... And in here, from the top, there's like be There's like big flowers that open up and then when the seeds are inside it closes like this from the center that will be functional and flowery and from the bottom that should and from the bottom there should be like a very strong batch of leaves that support the bucket from the bottom i think it's going to look right and these big arms and these big arm leaves they should be lower closer to the ground for the female so now i'm like more confident about what i want to see at every part of the flower kind of we're making some conscious changes so in general i'm working with more like a gesture lines right away So the bucket becomes kind of complex with these four divisions inside. I think it's only fair because this is a big thing. It should have some support inside. Otherwise it would fall apart. Alright, here we have the female folly. Now let's add some seeds on top. Let's actually continue it like it's floating right here. <laughs> Alright, cool. Actually, really cool. I gotta really like these two. I think let's do a quick design of the... 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 the density. <laughs> a quick one because it's almost bad time for me. And also because this thing is kind of small, so... Okay, this is a big document. So the seed is growing, it's becoming longer, and develops the leaf wings, light sensors, and spiral grooves. So let's do that. I think like a frontal thing, basically, or not exactly like that. We'll see. So... No, you know what? It's gonna look really cool if it's frontal. Because it's the way, like, you look at the butterflies or moths usually. It's kind of a thing to draw them this way. Four wings. I'm thinking how to make it look so it would be... Would actually feel like it's a naturally grown organism. So the leaves wouldn't feel like it's just a carrot with four leaves stuck to it with a glue. <laughs> okay, let's see. The basic reference should be a butterfly, I suppose. Or a drone. <laughs> really looks like a drone. Okay, here we go. A very nice little dance fee with the most realistic lighting. <laughs> well, it's kind of cool. Well, I guess this is it. We'll see what Kevin says and tell me what you think. What do you think about the flowers? My first flowers. I've lost my flower virginity today. Did I? 
Maybe it did some flower during the channel thing, I don't even know anymore. So yeah, you know what to do. Leave a comment, share your thoughts, and I thank you for watching if you did, I guess you did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe, tell a friend, spread the seed. Do whatever you want, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! This is literally a flower porn we have here. I'm okay with that. Leave a like and subscribe, tell a friend. Spread the seeds. <laughs>